Mahadev or Lord Shiva is of foremost importance in Hinduism. He is the main pillar of the Holy Trinity. Jyotirlinga are the divine places of Lord Shiva where he resides in different forms. The word Jyoti means light or radiance and Lingam or Linga means science or image. So the word Jyotirling means radiant science of Lord Shiva. The Jyotirlinga are said to have appeared in places where Lord Shiva himself manifested on earth, thus giving them the name Swayambhu, meaning self-manifested. Each Jyotirlinga is considered to be a different manifestation of Lord Shiva. In this video, we will narrate to you the story behind the ninth of the twelve Jyotirlinga. To know the story about all the twelve Jyotirlinga, watch the playlist linked in the comments below. In Hinduism, the mention of the holy city of Banaras or Varnasti is by itself auspicious. It is said that if a person dies in the city of Banaras, the person is liberated from the cycle of birth and death. If that is not possible, many a time the next of kin visit Banaras with the ashes of the loved one to pour the ashes into the river Ganga. If Kashi is at the heart of Hinduism, then Kashi Vishwanath temple is the heartbeat of the godly land. This divine sanctuary is one of the holiest lands that are known to exist in the country. In fact, so sacred is the shrine that it finds its mention in the Skanda Puran, which is an ancient Hindu scripture. Devoted to Lord Shiva, this temple is frequented by throngs of Hindus every day owing to its popularity. This holy city boasts of several ghats on the banks of river Ganga, but most of all, it is a city of Lord Shiva. It is said that people will only be able to visit here if Shiva wills it. It is one of the single most important shrines to attain moksha and be liberated from the cycle of birth and death. It is believed that the form of Shiva in Banaras is of the liberator and thus the ultimate happiness. Kashi Vishwanath is supposed to be the first Jyotirling that manifested breaking through the earth and fled to the skies, in doing so establishing his supremacy over all the gods. This temple has a Shakti Peter along with a Jyotirling. Shiva in this temple is also known as Vishwanath, meaning the ruler of the universe. There is a story in Shiva Mahapuran that mentions about the origin of this Jyotirlinga. Once, Brahma, the god of creation, and Vishnu, the god of preservation, debated over their supremacy. To test them, Shiva pierced the three worlds as a huge endless pillar of light, the Jyotirling. To determine who was mightier, Vishnu took the form of a boar and sought out to the bottom, while Brahma took the form of a swan to fly it to the pillar's top. After a prolonged period of trying to find the end of the pillar, Brahma, out of arrogance, lied and said that he had found the end, offering a katuki flower as a witness, while Vishnu honestly said that he could not find the end of it and accepted his defeat. Shiva then took the form of a wrathful Bhairava, cut off Brahma's lying fifth head and cursed Brahma that he would not be worshipped. Vishnu, for his honesty, would be worshipped as equal to Shiva with his own temples for all eternity.